Hello everyone, I'm Sheriff Wayne Ivey of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office and welcome to another exciting episode of Riding Shotgun. Tonight, I got the honor of riding with Deputy Anthony Nunez out of our West Precinct. Anthony likes to put bad people in jail, he likes to have fun, and he loves working here in our community. Let's go ride shotgun with Deputy Anthony Nunez. What's up, my brother? How you doing, Sheriff? I'm good, man. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Appreciate you riding with me. So how'd you end up here at the uh, Brevard County Sheriff's Office, brother? So I've been in the Sheriff's Office here for about two years now. Um, prior to that, um, I was at Titusville Police Department for about two years. Um, and then prior to that, I did uh, about three years in the Army, U.S. Army Infantry. Uh, my dad also works here at the Sheriff's Office. He's an agent. I figured I'd join him and, and work together here at the Sheriff's Office. So right now we're going to, um, we're going to a call for service. We're going to try to pick up uh, somebody with an active warrant. He, um, he fled from one of my zone partners about a week ago now. So now we're gonna try to locate him. Um, it's a felony fleeing and elude warrant. So hopefully he's there and take him in custody. What's up, bro? He just went the door. All right. He just locked the door. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, doggy. It's okay, doggy. Hey, Sheriff's Office. Hey, come out and talk to me, bro. Hey, Corp, he's in there. I was just. You saw him go in the call? Yeah. It was definitely worth my view because right as I was coming up, the dog started barking, head poked out, and then door slammed shut, and the door was locked. Moon has made an announcement to him that we are going to bring a dog in. He has exactly one minute to come out. Yep. <laughs> Dennis, this is the sheriff's office. You have one minute to come out. We're going to send our dog in and get you out. Come out. I'm coming out. Dude, what's your problem, man? I don't have a problem. So put your hands on your back. What, you see? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You want to play games? There was no games. All you had to do was say what you were here for. Don't run from us. We will put your ass in jail. You're going to jail for running from us. From running from yeah. me? Yeah. No, so I turned From my... now on, when you see us show up here, get your ass out in the front door and be waiting on us. So, don't run from the police. <laughs> What's 10 days? That's how long I'm going to be in jail. Okay. You got any priors? <laughs> no. No? When's the last time you've been arrested? Yeah. I don't know. A couple years ago. Okay. You're not paper or anything like that right now? No. So he's getting arrested for an active warrant as well as an additional charge of resisting officer without violence since he refused multiple lawful orders to come out of the house. So probably gonna be Holmes in Aurora Street. Can I open the door? Yeah. Okay. How are you doing, sir? Good. I'm Deputy Nunez. You know what I stopped you by chance? No. Sir. Your tag list is super damn. I could barely read them, brother. Even yeah. running right, even like running right up on you, right behind you. You, you want me to turn them on? I can see. I, you sure? It's it's okay. Just I'll, I'm just explaining the reasons why I stopped you, man. Do you get your tag list, Tony? Yep. And I got my uh, thing. I'm going through the course that I'm right now. You got my all my um, you got, David. You got your what? So you're saying your license should be restored right now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. When was this taken care of? Uh, in the process right now, officer. Oh, you're in the process. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, already, it's already done. It's in Tallahassee. Okay. All the only thing I have to do is where I went to take the ADI class. All that's the, um, Okay. Alrighty. So I pulled this gentleman over for um, not having tag lights visible from 50 feet. Um, he immediately gave me a Florida ID card, not a driver's license. He said he has paperwork to get his license restated, but he pretty much admitted that he does not have a valid license right now at this time. So we're going to look at his driving history, driving record, and uh, see what the status of that is right now. Yeah, so he's been, he has a bunch of prior FTAs, failed to appear, and at least two or three habitual traffic offender convictions. So. 
He's gonna be 10 15 right now based on the driving history. Mm -hmm. Brother, I told you I'll take a look at your driving history and I'll try to, if I could, work with you, but many driving histories. I, if you look at if you look at my paperwork, it, it, it'll show right, right there on my paperwork. My license has been reinstated. We did the ADI class. I had to do a 12 but you, class. But you didn't get your driver's license and you're driving. That's, that's the issue. And you, you have multiple um, driver's license suspensions and revocations and you're still out here driving without a driver's license. So I understand you're doing the right things, you're doing the right process on how to take care of, but unfortunately I have no discretion when I look at your driving record and I see and I see how many convictions there are. Pulled up on my screen that he had at least 15 prior convictions for driving while license suspended um, and his license has been revoked since 1991. Uh, based on that, it's kind of hard to, you know, cut him a break and stuff like that. So I pulled him out of the vehicle and placed him in handcuffs and arrested him for um, a felony status, driving while I suspended, so, with knowledge. So he'll be going to jail for that, and that's that. 47, now K-13. Okay, what do you stop you guys for? Tag expired. Oh, the tag expired? Mm -hmm. Okay. They have an expired registration, a couple months. Several of them in the car. Let's see what we got. Hey, Wanda, you mind stepping out? Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Sir, do you mind stepping out as well? You just want to hang out right here for me? It's right over here by the passenger light. Oh, was that a crack pipe that you're stepping on? Yeah, that's an out. That's a problem. Come over here. Come over here. You come over here. Hey, crack pipe, right? Gonna get tested, I just get well, it. When I go test that, is it gonna test positive for crack? I just saw you drop it. I didn't drop anything. It fell right out of your hand. No. I There's didn't. cameras everywhere, come on. See oh. You come over here, come over here. One thing about it. Right here. One no deal with no crack. Right here. Okay, we'll set some positive for cocaine. All right, are we gonna find anything else in the vehicle around any of you guys? Which Crack pipe that you dropped on the ground. I didn't drop it. Do you think I just wasn't gonna see that or something? No, I didn't say nothing, sir. Okay. I just happened to look at it. Well, you back dropped it and then you stepped on it and tried to smash it. No, I didn't drop it. Okay. I didn't have nothing in my hand with the cigarette. Well, it just magically fell from the sky? <laughs> She is going to jail for touching a pair of family residue, and the other two occupants will be released on scene. I'm just waiting on a licensed driver to come get the vehicle and drive them home. So, Anthony, I know uh, I know what it's like for me, but what's it like for you out here in this community that loves us so much? What's it like working the sheriff's office? It's pretty awesome. Um, everywhere I go, whether it's a gas station or um, even on a call, someone will stop me and you know. Just shake my hand, thank me for my service, or or try to buy me lunch. Don't regret any decision I made. So I, lo I love working here and and working here with all my zone partners and supervision. So, Anthony, man, what a great night, brother. You thank did you. a good job, man. Loved riding with you. Thanks for having me, buddy. Thank you, Sheriff. All right, you be Appreciate safe it. out there, brother. Thanks, sir. Well, I told you it's going to be an exciting night riding with Deputy Anthony Nunez. Man, a couple arrests, worked with our canines to get another arrest. What a great job by our Brevard County Sheriff's Office and our deputies. Man, I'm so proud to be a part of this team. We'll see you next time on Riding Shotgun.